Good morning, everybody. Um, it's Marion. I'm at the shipping container cabin, um, throwing together some breakfast. Um, I got sausage. Uh, I know black plus dark brown. Really can't see it. Eggs, oatmeal, beans and rice for dinner, which I always work on dinner while I'm making breakfast, so I don't use fuel too much fuel and then I got water right here for washing dishes there are some tweaks I made to the setup and I'm doing this video primarily for Joshua native Kirk to like show him some of the stuff that I'm doing um, thanks brother for uh, the whole thing on coals because what I started doing is taking more time to put um, to, to put wood at the bottom, you know, kindle it at the bottom and making sure that I get a coal bed over the entire bottom of the stove. Um, that's where I was screwing up. And then I added this little battery powered fan from the camper wagon to constantly make sure that the stove gets oxygen. So it's been heating the place up pretty nice. Um, I still only get maybe an hour burn or whatever because this stove is the size that it is and this is even burning oak so um, it'll be a minute before I'm able to change out the stove but that's on the to-do list and then this stove will be going in the tool shed so that's what's up also I um, wanted to show you guys a new uh, added feature of the container cabin I finally can take showers here without having to go to a truck stop or a gym. The microphone is going to make noise for a second, y'all. So, real quick. Try to make this not make too much noise. That's my shower button. Bucket. It's an old military surplus um, shower pail with this head that you turn it to turn the water on. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate it because the, the the canvas is actually not completely waterproof, so it still leaks some. So the second I put water in it, um, it starts dripping or whatever. But that's an easy fix. Like I'm going to like do the whole beeswax, um, impregnated beeswax, just like in linseed oil, and just rub that stuff in. And that should be able to help it keep water a lot better. It feeds into, and I hope you guys can see this. I hope you guys can see this. Where you see that white top? Okay, yeah, I can see it. It feeds into that little um, laundry barrel. So, as far as meeting my needs or whatever, please forget the mic noise. It does really, 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 really well. Does really, 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 really well. Um, so that's breakfast. Um, a little bit of the updates, of the stuff we're going on at the shipping container cabin. Um, I hope to finish the insulating on the floor. Oh, one more thing. Last big snowstorm we got, I ended up, the wood ended up getting really, really wet because I was in town working on music and couldn't get to making my tarps and stuff really really tidy so I'm gonna turn around here turn around here if you can see that that's my new box for the wood it's four foot wide by four foot long by four foot tall and it's supported on cinder blocks that are eight inches off, which puts everything eight inches off the ground. I mean, I know that doesn't matter because in Minnesota, like we get real snow. So, um, but that's pretty much everything, y'all. Um, nothing that's been new around the container cabin. Um, solar is not working as well as I'd like it to, but. I don't need it. I don't really need it. I charge stuff using the vehicle. 
And that's pretty much it. So, talk to y'all later. God will do it.